A guy was asking what is going on with a goofy scene in Code Geass. Some were calling it amazing and some were calling it contrived. The argument was coming down to one side calling it foreshadowed and very effective as a scene, and the other side calling it convenient and overbearing. So what was it? This response explains it in detail, which pretty much tells you it's both. The gears going out of control was foreshadowed, and the circumstances under which it happened were artificial. And this is something not many are willing to accept. Something can be both good on paper and bad in execution. You can warn the audience about a future event which will happen, and said event can be too much because of the ridiculous way it happened. But wait a second, most people agree it was also very effective. So how can it be bad in execution? It's because there is a difference between simply causing a reaction and executing a properly structured chain of events. Everyone who watched it was shocked by that scene. If emotions are all you care about, then yes, it was very effective just because it made you feel stuff. You didn't see it coming, although you knew it would happen. If, on the other hand, you have critical thinking, you know it wasn't handled well because there was no gradual progression from point A to point B. It was literally, this is going to happen at some point, and then it happened out of the blue and in a most over-the-top way. The twist in the last episodes of Tatami Galaxy, for example, is properly foreshadowed because you were constantly getting hints about it throughout the series. It wasn't mentioned once and then it happened, so once again, foreshadowing versus contrivance is a simple case of dumb emotions versus superior logic. You clearly weren't paying attention. Izuku did deserve one for all. Did you even pay attention? He has a great sense of heroism and he had to work for it. I just can't see the problem. How am I supposed to see you as credible 